Hello. Hello, guys. Hello. How's it going? Hi, Hi guys. Fine. How's your day today? Probably fine. <laughs> We're good. All right, hold on, because my audio is coming out from a different place right now. All right. Uh, hold on, guys. So what's good? Um, guys, um, how are you doing with the platform? Um, are you up to date? I am not. Sorry. <laughs> um, I mean, up to date means like uh, if you've been uh, doing our, all the exercises that that we've done so far. Yeah. I hello. Um, tonight I have a problem with the with the platform because I I can use. Uh huh. Okay. All right. All right. You can't use it. Yeah. Uh, oh, you don't have access to the platform yet. Yes. Uh -huh. On my side, I do have access I, to the platform, but when I try to submit an answer, it doesn't accept. It doesn't accept anything. Uh, not that it doesn't check that if it is correct or not, but it doesn't go out of the gray zone. Okay, all right. Uh, but I know that you reported it already, right, um, Miguel? Hmm? You reported it already, right? Yeah. And okay. they have a lot of mistakes. <laughs> um, well, they, they, they got some, but uh, okay, all right. So you haven't received any answer yet? You, you haven't received any answer yet from the tech support? I mean, from tech support? I haven't asked, uh, well, I haven't sent a report. Oh, you haven't sent it yet, okay. Uh -huh. Very, very good. I have been trying to make it work here by okay. removing the cookies and stuff. All right. Okay. All right. That's that's good. That's good. Okay, guys. Uh, there we go. All right. So uh, let's get started, guys. Thank you so uh, thank you so much for being here, guys. Um, remember, guys. Um, if you have your camera working, uh, let's turn it on. Aside from that, let's go back to the platform. Um, so I told you we were going to talk about uh, the um, reported speech today, guys. Did you finish the platform? Did, I mean, did you finish the exercise from yesterday? Yes, I did. Okay. So you guys did the listening exercise. Okay. All right. So uh, so let's uh, let's get um, let's uh, let's take care of that right now, guys. I'm sorry, my throat kind of hurts right now, but let's take care of that right now. And um, and then we'll move on from there. All right. Hold on. All right, real quick, uh, Miguel, what is the answer for number one? Five, four, three, Miguel, you're muted. You're right muted, the way sir. I'm looking for the. <laughs> Okay. Oh no, I I haven't done that one. I well, I still need to do that one. Okay. All right. Very good, David. All right. Number one, David. Is the uh, the last one? A uh, woman and her son's friend. A woman. All right. That's no, not women here. Right. It's woman. <laughs> woman, woman and her son's friend. Okay. And her son's friend. Very good job. Okay. All right. Number two, Idalia. Idalia. Okay, you are you're muted. All right, sounds not coming out from your microphone. From your hi, sorry. hello, that's okay. Uh, I didn't do it, teacher. I didn't, I didn't do it. Sorry, okay. All right, what happened? Do you have access to, to the platform? No, I didn't have access. Okay, this whole section, guys, okay, it's okay, it's right. This whole section needs to be completed this week, okay. The most important thing is to finish the platform, right? So who has the answer? Uh, Daisy, Daisy Aguirre, what is the answer for number two? I have a problem with the platform. You had a problem, okay. All right, oh, you're the one who's not able to log in? Yeah. Okay, 
Jesus Christ, I think I just uh, closed it. All right, hold on, guys. Give me one second. All right, guys, who completed this exercise? Did you? All right, you did it. Okay, very good, guys. Yeah. So, so, guys, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys um, I'm gonna give you time to complete it. I'm not gonna give you the answers here because not everybody completed. Okay. Remember, guys, uh, please come to class because there are some things that uh, we cover, guys, okay? Um, so if we explain it in the class, guys, you should know about that topic, right? So let's move on, guys. All right. uh, thank you, David, for completing it. Teacher, uh, I so finished it yesterday, but today I couldn't enter to the platform because it says that the page is working, but oh, yeah. I did, did it yesterday. Okay, yeah, I believe you, I believe you, okay, uh, don't worry about that. Yes, guys, the, the, the platform has been, um, has been um, getting some issues, you know, lately, so I'm sorry about that. But, okay, guys, so just finish it home, okay, the listening exercise. Um, I do, I need you to send the screenshot today, guys, that you finished it, okay? So, what do I need you to do today, uh, Lydia? So, what are you going to do today, Lydia? Right, Idali, what are you gonna do today? Guys, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right, very good. So what are you gonna do today? Send a screenshot. Very good, okay, so finish the listening exercise. Send me the screenshot once you're done, okay? All right, actually, uh, you send me the screenshot, guys, from the whole platform, okay? Okay. All right. um, that today, guys, because again, today is the last day from this week, so we need to finish this, right? So with that being said, guys, uh, now that we see most people, that now that I see more, most people here, um, let's work on. Let's go ahead and work on um, reported speech. Okay. So who has any idea what reported speech is, guys? Who can tell me? Who has heard about reported speech before? It's like when you said something that other people have said. Before. Very good job, okay? It's when you say something somebody else has said, right? So you're like like gossiping, right? Is that like gossiping? Hmm. What do you think? All right, now you're you're uh you're reporting, right? You're reporting what another person has said before, okay? Very good job. And yes, that is reported speech. And guys, the website is having some issues. Great. All right, guys, so let me pull up the whiteboard here. All right, so the website is loading, guys, because, yes, it's having issues right now. Okay, so, all right, guys, so reported speech is uh, basically, all right, all right, it's uh, reporting what um, another person has said, okay? Clear so far? So far so good? All right, very good, okay. So reporting what another person has said, okay. So example, okay. So, um, so I, I can say for example, um, I don't know, uh, guys, bring your homework, okay. So, Okay, let's put it like this, David. Okay, David. So I said, guys, bring your homework, okay? So now, how can you report this, okay? There are two ways, guys, okay? Right, direct versus indirect speech, okay? So, indirect speech, guys. All right? Indirect speech. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, indirect speech. Do you go by saying, uh, David said, guys, bring your homework? Or do you say, David told the guys to bring their homework? What do you think? Or David asked the guys to bring their homework? On my side, I was thinking it depends on who are you speaking of, because who are you speaking with? Because if you're uh -huh. talking to the guys that he told, David told you to bring your homework. Okay. So, David, okay, David told you to bring your homework. Let me see if the website is working now, guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's coming up. Very good. 
yeah guys i don't know what's going on like i've never seen the website acting up like this you know it's crazy all right all right hold on now let's there you go all right so the presentation is up so let's get let me bring it up here very good can you all can you all see yes yes, yes. Right? now i'm sorry but the font i know the font guys is um it's a little small uh, a little small here right so now as we were saying guys reported speeches um reporting what another person has has talked about it right so we got um so i was telling you about an example right so if i say all right if i say it's a big secret okay now you wanna you wanna tell you wanna tell um i don't know you're toxic or toxic all right you wanna tell them what i said okay all right all right so all right so the first way we can do this okay is by saying it um by doing this okay you would say david or you can change this for a pronoun right but you can say david david said david said it was a big secret okay david said it was a big secret right all right now optionally guys okay david said optionally between after after said guys after the word said after the verb said you can say that david said that it was a big secret okay we're gonna see the structure later guys but right now i'm showing you examples okay so now guys let me ask you something um armando am i reporting what david said here what do you think because it's general it's not it's okay no 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 but okay but, but what am i saying here am i talking about another person having said this all right i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna give you another example Armand. i'm not sure if you're uh if, if you can hear me well uh what if what if douglas okay douglas all right douglas says um i am a better singer than cheyenne right Okay, so Douglas says this. Okay, Armando. Hey, Douglas, nice to see you, man. <clears throat> All right. So, Armando, so how can you tell me that Douglas told you this? Douglas told me that he was a better singer than Shayam. Okay, very good. Okay, you could say Douglas. That's, that's good. We're not going to talk about uh, the verb tell right now, but you can say Douglas told me, right, or Douglas said that that who was a better single as a better sing, singer he that he right douglas said that he he is or he was he was because he told me in the past very good job hey nice applause for Armando, guys beautiful sir high five to you all right so douglas said that he was a better uh, singer than Cheyenne, right? Very good. Okay, so now, if I say it's a big secret, if I say uh, I am a better singer than Cheyenne, is that a statement? Is that a question? Is that a command? Or w what is it, guys? What do you think that is? So what? what is this, guys? Take a look, okay, the answer is here, all right? Take a look at this, guys. All right, take a look at this and tell me what do you think, say it's a big secret or saying uh, I, am I am a better singer than Cheyenne is, what is that? Statement. That's a statement, very good job, okay? It is a statement, okay? Very good, okay, so it is a statement, all right? Let's take a look at another example. All right. Uh, let's see. Daisy, give me a statement, Daisy. 
say like anything pretty much a statement is you know a, a sentence right so uh give me give me give me a statement okay um whatever yes where is sentence okay um he works in the market he works um, in the market. so <laughs> yeah is that it? Okay, good job. Right. Um, I mean, that's okay. Okay. Right. And then another, for yeah. example, um, my mother say that. <laughs> Continue. No, it's okay. It's okay, right? That's that's okay. I think that you're okay. The answer, okay. Now, guys, okay. So how do I? So how do I tell? How do I tell? Um, my brother that what Daisy said. How can I say, how can I, how can I report that? Uh, let's see, Douglas, how can I report that? Uh, Daisy said that he worked in the market. Okay, Daisy said that he, he what, he works or he worked? That he works in the he market. Okay, are you sure that it's, uh, he works in the market? Actually, guys, or actually, um, in this case, guys, you are reporting, remember, you are reporting, um, it's true, guys, it's true what you said, Armando, that you are talking about, you know, what somebody said in the past, but in this case, the person, you know, the person has not stopped working here, right? So in this in this case, guys, Douglas is absolutely fine, right? So it is correct to say, all right, Daisy said that he works in the market, okay? Because he's still working. Because he's still working there. That is absolutely correct. Good job for Douglas, guys. Applause. Very good, Douglas. Very good, very good, okay? All right. So um, let's see. Let's take a look at another example, okay? Now, there are, this is, we're talking in simple present, guys, okay? But you could, you could actually use any tense whatsoever, right? So what if I use present continuous? Who would like to give me, um, who would like to give an example in present continuous? You know, he, what? I'm working. He is, right? I'm working, okay, very good, right? I'm, um, I'm working. I don't know who gave me that example. I don't know, Shakira, right? Let's say Shakira. So Shakira, Shakira says, I'm working, okay? So I want to report, okay? So uh, so somebody's asking you about, uh, somebody's asking you what Shakira said, okay? So how can you report this, okay? Um, Jonathan, all right? Report to me what Shakira said. Uh, well, Shakira said that she was working. Very good job. Okay, all right. All right, Shakira said that she, can I say, can I say, uh, Shakira, Shakira said she was working? Oops. All right. So can I say this, guys? Can I say Shakira said she was working without sure. question mark, sorry. He was working. Yes. Okay. Very good job. Yes, guys. I can say Shakir was working. Now, notice something that happens here. Now, we're using present continuous here, guys. Okay. All right. But what happened to the sentence after that? Well, now that you're reporting it, guys, in what tense is this? The past continuous. Okay. Very good job. All right. It is in the past continuous form. Why? <laughs> why, am I, why am I not saying... Um, Shakira said she is working. Uh -huh. Because the first phrase is in past simple. Simple okay. past. <laughs> because the first phrase is in simple past? Uh -huh. What? You mean this? Are you talking about this? Teacher. Uh -huh. Tell me. Work. Yes. I guess. 
I think you can say both ways. She, uh, Shakira said she was working or Shakira said she's working. Cause you don't know. I don't know you. Uh. Actually guys, um, when you're talking, okay. So I know maybe this is too small guys. I'm not sure. Okay. But when you talk, when you're talking like this guys, right? If you're using, there is a rule guys, there is a grammar rule. If you're talking in simple present, then the reported speech is in simple past, right? If you see here, the example says, I'm getting a terrible grade, right? So if you're going to report that, remember, reporting, you're always reporting something. If you're reporting something, it's something that already happened, right? You're not actually like, uh, you're not saying the things that, uh, you're not reporting something that is happening right now, but something, you know, that somebody told you already, right? Or you something that you heard already, right? So uh, if you're using present continuous, then you have to use, you have to use, what do you think that you should use? The past continues. The past continues, right? Now, take a look at this other example. When we say, um, when we say, they got engaged. All right. So when we say when they got engaged, all right. Take a look at uh, at the report uh, at the reported speech here. All right. It becomes he or she or whatever, right? All right. Let's say uh, let's talk about let's use a noun instead of a pronoun, right? Idalia said. Idalia said that, or you can you can skip this part, right? That is option, right? Idalia said that that what that they uh. had gotten engaged, right? Now, in what tense is the um, the first example? When I say they got engaged, what tense is that? Simple past. Very good, okay, this is simple past, okay? Now, in what tense is this? Perfect simple past. The third, the third one. The third one? What is the third one? Is this present? Uh, okay, if I say they had gotten engaged? Uh, past perfect simple. Okay, very good job, okay, past perfect, right? They had gotten engaged, right? So, from simple past, you go to past perfect, okay? Now, if the same the same goes for uh, when, we, when we say we weren't talking about you, we weren't talking, what tense is that? Uh, what tense are we using there? If they say- we, past, but in negative way, in a negative way. We weren't talking, guys, uh, we weren't talking, that's, is that simple past? That's the past continuous. Yes. Oh, this is the past continuous, right? This is the past continuous, guys, right? Because it uses the int form, the verb be, right? So we weren't talking about you. So if I want to, if I want to report that, guys, what should I say? What is the example? Can somebody read the example on the right side? I'm gonna type it in here, and you tell me, and you tell me uh, what tense it is, okay? Um, so they. You're gonna see that it says they claimed, right? But you can say they said, right? They say, they claim. All right, so they claimed that, right? They hadn't been talking. All right, they claimed that they hadn't been talking about me, okay? So in what tense? So we, we know that the first example, right, is in past continuous. Right. What about what about the second example, guys? In what sense is this? The past perfect continuous. Very good job, right? So this is. Uh, they claim they hadn't been talking about me. That is correct, guys. So this is past perfect continuous. Very good job. Do you see the pattern? Do you see the pattern, guys? All right. Very good. All right. Yeah. So if so, you follow that pattern, okay? So we're gonna see, guys. You're gonna you're gonna understand more about this later because I'm gonna show you uh, the table on, you know, what tenses transform to what tenses, okay? Now let me ask you something, guys. Do you have a question for me? Any questions so far? Uh, how about if we had the past perfect continuous in a sentence? What are we going to do? 
Okay. All right. Give me your example in past perfect continuous. For example, okay, let's say, let my that, neighbors uh, have well, been. My neighbors. Uh, past perfect have been or have been. Have been okay, gossiping. Okay. Very good. Okay. My neighbors have been gossiping. The whole day. Okay. The whole day. Okay. Very good job. All right, the reporting speech here is, you can say, um, Douglas, right? Douglas said that his neighbors had been gossiping all day, all right? Now, why do you do that is because there is no, uh, that's a very good question now. So now, the reason why you do this, guys, is because you cannot go beyond the past perfect okay so if that's the case you actually have to say it the same way the only thing that that you do is that you add all right so uh, you can use uh, the verb say in the past or you can use uh, claim um uh, you can use uh, douglas told me right but we're not doing you know um we're not going to work with tell right now but you have to report it guys if you reach if you reach uh the past perfect Continuous, or if you, if you reach past perfect, you have to report it the way it is, okay? Because there is no way to go uh, past that. So if I say, uh, you know what? Uh, my sister had been working, had been working the whole day yesterday. How am I going to report it? Uh, oh, David said that her sister had been working the whole day yesterday. Got it? So why do we do that, guys? Why do because we do we that? Can't, because we can't go we can't beyond go, that. We can't go past uh, past perfect or 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 um, or um, past perfect progressive, right? So when we reach, guys, when we reach the present uh, tenses, guys, basically you cannot go past them. Okay. Beautiful question, Douglas. All right. Good job. Does anybody have another question, guys? I have a question. Tell me. Um, for example, if the sentence is in present participle, uh -huh. then uh -huh. the reporter's speech will be in past participle, right? That is totally possible. Okay. Yes, it is possible, but um, don't don't get into don't get into the present participle yet, because that we're gonna we're gonna see that. Okay, we're gonna see that, but not not yet. We're gonna see that later, though. All right. But yes, it is. Uh, you can do it like that. Okay. All right, so let's say if I say, guys, um, I let's say I would, I would, I would see you. All right, let's say I would see my my uh, my sister if if she was. Uh, I would see my sister if she was here, right? So how can I report that? How do you think that we can report this? So this is David, right? So I said it. So how would you report this? Okay. It will be um, David said he could see her sister if she uh, she was here. Mm. All right. Remember, guys, if I say I would see uh, my sister, right, you can go you can go past that, right? So in this case, if you reported this, okay, remember you're reporting an action that happened in the past, right? My God, it's so difficult to talk right now. All right, so you would say David said he would have seen his sister if she, and actually here, guys, I'm sorry, if she had, right, I'm sorry, if she had, been there okay remember when you, here guys after the clause if right we have what what tense is this what is what is she was here simple past. that is simple past right remember simple past transforms into what tense what is this past perfect Past perfect. Okay, the past perfect. Very good job. And Alejandra, what tense is this? Well, how do you call that actually? Because that, that wouldn't be a 
like this. Uh -huh. you, you mentioned it. Alejandra? I'm sorry. Uh, that is um, participle, no? Okay, very good job, okay. You said uh, the present participle, right? So you always, guys, you always uh, transform everything to the past, okay? All right. So now we're going to see, guys, we're going to see more examples about statements, guys, because we need to move on to questions, okay? All right. So now questions, guys, we're quickly going to see the, we're quickly going to see the examples here. Now, if I ask a question, guys, uh, for example, um, did you know about the layoffs, okay? This is the number one question that we got here, okay? Questions. So if I ask, did, did you know about the, um, about the layoffs, okay? So now, how do I transform this? Is this in the present? Is this in the past? Is this in the, is this in the past um, progressive? What is this? Did you know about the layoffs? It's a simple past, guys, right? It's a question in simple past, okay? Okay, so, all right, so the way we transform this would be I asked him if he had uh, known. You, you can change the subject, guys, okay? You don't necessarily need to say, I asked him about the layoffs, okay? Now, in what tense is this, guys? Uh, he had known about the layoffs. In what tense is this? Past perfect. Okay, this is in past perfect, right? Now, who's asking? If I ask you, if I ask you, hey, did you know about the layoffs? Who is asking? All right, I, right, the first person, the first person pronoun is asking. Yes? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. All right. Yeah. All right. So now, now, uh, now, uh, Jonathan, Jonathan Monterosa, wants to tell Miguel that I said that I had asked them. I'm, 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 do, I'm, I'm using reported speech here, guys. So Jonathan wants to tell Miguel that I had um, that I had told them um, about the layoffs. Okay. So how can Jonathan tell Miguel about that? So Jonathan, how would you how would you say that I said it? Okay. So I don't want you to say that I don't want you to report that you you asked, you know. I want you to report that uh, that the, you're, you're going to talk about me, right? You're going to talk about David. So I, David, asked, did you know about the layoffs, right? So how would you report this, uh, Jonathan? You could report it like just that, and a statement. Okay. Report right. it. Okay, it's, no, it's no, a no. way to do it. Yes, yes, but hold on, hold your horses. We're not, we're not doing that yet. Okay, oh. I, I know, I know. You can say, "Oh, David said, did you know about the layoffs?" I mean, you can say that, right? But we're not doing that right now. Okay. No. Now, so, uh, so how can you say? How can you, how, guys? Any, can anybody tell me? Okay, can anybody tell me? How can you report that I said that? I don't want you to say that you said that. I want you to say that I said that. Uh, David said. Very good job. David said. David said. If he had known about the layoffs. Okay. If, let's say that I was asking, um, I was asking Pilsen Oberto, okay? All right. So we're going to talk about Pilsen Oberto. So I asked Pilsen Alberto, I, I asked Pilsen Alberto, hey, did you, did you know about the layoffs? So how can I say that? David said, you're good. Right now, you're good. So David, David, David said, if, David if asked, Pilsen Alberto. Remember, I asked someone, right? I didn't say, I didn't say it, guys. I asked someone, right? All right. All right. When you're, when you're, when you're uh, reporting a question, guys, you have to use the verb ask. Okay. So David asked Pilsen Alberto. Uh-huh. What? Have known. 
have known. If he had, all right, if he had known about the layoffs, okay? All right, we good? Good, good. Okay, all right, so the same happens, guys, with, with the other verbs, okay? We follow the same rules, right? Uh, simple present transforming, transforms into simple past. Uh, simple past transforms into? Simple past. No, simple past transforms into? Past perfect. Past perfect, right? Past perfect. All right, and it, and it goes on like that, okay? All right. Uh, now, uh, now, the next one, guys, the next one is talking about commands, okay? Can I erase this? Can I erase this now? Yes, no? Yep. Okay, very good. Take a screenshot or, or something and send it to the group, okay? All right. So now, commands, guys. Commands are imperatives, right? Imperatives or commands, right? They are the same thing, okay? Now, when we're talking about imperatives or commands, guys, okay? All right, a command, guys, is like like how you talk to your dog sometimes, right? I like I mean, if you tell your dog, "Hey, could you please, dog, move from, move, you know, move away," right? You know, you ask for permission, right? Now, if you if you make, if you give commands, guys, you only say the verb like, "Oh, uh, move away," right? Move away, all right? Hey, get, out, get out of here, right? Right? Uh, don't play in the in the backyard, okay? So. If I use the imperative, don't say anything, okay? Now, is this, is this in the past? Is this in the, is this in the present? Is this in the future? What is it? The present. Okay, this is in the present. Very good job, okay? So, I want to report it, all right? So, how do, re do I report it? Okay, you can use a different verb if you want, but let's say he said, well, actually, he... Um, told his friend not to say anything, okay? Or you can say he told his friend, or you, I'm sorry, you he warned, right? He warned his friend not to say anything, okay? All right, so we can say like this, guys. Now, why can I not use he said? Because we're talking about a command, okay? With commands, unless you're you're gonna quote, if you're gonna quote the, set, the sentence, yes, you can say he said, uh, he he said, don't say anything. Quote, right? If you're quoting, but right now we're not quoting, right? If you want to report a command without quoting, all right, you have to you have to use the verb uh, tell, or you have to use the the, the verb warn, okay? Um, or you can use advice, right? Oh, he advised his friend uh, he shout. to know to not. Uh, oh, he ordered. You can say he ordered, right? He ordered his friend not to say anything. Okay. All right. So you can use verbs like this, guys. But you cannot say. You can never say he said his friend. All right. First off, because we use say plus to you, right? But uh, so in this case, guys, you're not going to use that verb, okay? So when we're talking about commands, we're not going to use the verb say. So far, so good? Sure. Good, good, good. Uh, Ellie, uh, questions? Thomas, Fatima Ramirez, Daisy, Lydia? <clears throat> My voice, guys. Oh. Jesus Christ. Uh huh. No questions? No, I'm okay. Okay, all right, very good, very good, okay. All right, now, when we talk about general truth, okay, uh, general truth, okay, guys, all right. Uh, a general truth is like a scientific fact, sort of, right? You say the sun rises in the east, right? What else would you consider a general truth? Kind of like a scientific fact. The earth is round. Okay, the earth is round. Very good job. Okay, so let's use these examples. All right, so if I want to report, okay. Now, if I want to report this first off again, take a look at what, what tense you're looking at. What, in what tense, I'm sorry, what tense is this?
the simple present. Very good job, the simple present, okay? Now, if you're gonna report something that is a fact, guys, okay? And notice, notice this, okay? This will turn for me into, uh, oh, uh, she or he, whatever, right? He said that the sun rises in the east. Remember, this is a general truth, meaning a fact, okay? So when we are talking about a fact, a general truth, a scientific fact, okay? For example, you can say um, the ice melts, okay? So when we say this, guys, what, what happens here? This is simple present, okay? This is simple present. And this is, what tense is this? The sun, okay, the sun uh, rises in the east. What tense is that? The simple present too. It simple is present. simple present too, guys. So if you talk about facts, then the tense does not change. Got it? All right. All right. So David said this, okay? Now notice, guys, that said, right, you're, also, you're still talking about something that somebody told you in the past, right? But but the, what the person said remains in the present. Remain Not in the present, guys, in the tense that the person said, right? So what about if I say ice melts? First off, is that um, is, is that is that a scientific fact? Is that a, gen a general truth? Yes or not? I think so. Yes, yes, guys. I mean, the ice melts, right? It is. It is, right? So you can vaporize it. Oh yeah. I mean, we're talking about states of matter, right? We don't want to get there because I'm very good at that. <laughs> now, uh, yeah, I'm just <laughs> right. very good, uh, Jonathan. All right. So I want you to report this. I want you to tell. Uh, Idalia, that I said this, okay? Uh, so, Idalia, David said that the ice melts. Very good, David very good. Said David the... said that the ice melts. Very good job, okay? You don't say, David, say that the ice melted because I'm not talking about something that happened and already stopped, right? This, this is like a general truth, right? So, general truth do not change meanings. Is it clear? Yeah. Clear, clear, clear. Yeah. All right, very good, okay? If it is not clear, right, let me know and I will give you another example. But if it's, if it's clear, we're gonna move on with this, okay? All right, so let's move up. Okay, guys, so uh, the usage of reported speech, guys. What is the first uh, usage of reported speech? Teacher. Tell me. Uh, can you go back, please? Absolutely. Uh huh? Tell me. Do you have a question? I, I, I was typing the. Oh, right. You were, you were, you were taking you notes. Oh, I can't. I can't. See. Sorry. Let's see. No, I, it won't <laughs> let me. It, lo okay. it won't let me bring them back. Okay, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought that you, okay. you guys, you guys okay. were but we're going to see more examples. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. So guys, what do we use? What do we use the reported speech for? According to this, what, what do we use it for? Give someone a telephone message. Okay. We use it for giving someone a telephone message or a message in general. Okay. All right. What uh, do let's pick someone. Three, two. Miguel Angel. Miguel Angel, okay. Uh, what else? What else do we use it for? Well, to tell someone news that we heard from someone else. Very good job, okay. To tell someone news that we heard from someone else. Guys, news, by the way, it's not plural, okay. This is singular, okay. Singular. Uh, it doesn't have a plural form, okay. It's a non countable noun, All right? Anyways. All right, so to tell someone news that we heard from someone else, right? All right, hey, you know what? Uh, that uh, that guy smells bad, right? Oh, you know what? Uh, Chambronella told me, right? He said that that guy smelled bad, right? <laughs> See? All right, very good. Or Chambronella, right? Very good. 
All right, number three, uh, Miguel, pick someone else. Someone with a camera off. Camera turned off. Oh, okay. Here. Let's see. Armando? All right, Armando, and number three. To report something that happened earlier. To report something that happened earlier. Okay, so let's let's have a couple of examples for each of them. Okay. All right. So I get a phone call. Uh, let's see. Thomas, Thomas Machado, are you there? <laughs> Guys, I'm so sorry about my voice. I've been like I'm here. All right, all right, Thomas, okay, leave me a phone message. Um, it was a big rainstorm coming in early on. There was, uh, you, mean, you mean there was, okay. There was a big, a big actually there was, a, yeah, that's, there was a big rainstorm. Rainstorm. Uh, earlier this Earlier, earlier today, right? Earlier, earlier today. Okay, so I'm gonna report this, okay? Uh, I am a secretary and I wanna report this to my boss. So how would you report this? Who wants to try it? Uh -huh. Remember Thomas, Thomas called, Thomas right? Said it was rain. We're talking about Thomas, okay? I'm sorry, Thomas, what? Hey. Okay, all right. So Thomas, all right, so Thomas said. Mm -hmm. There was a big storm or it was raining. Okay, all right. Okay, that, okay that's, 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 okay, you're in the right path, but I'm gonna help you, okay? This stands right here. This is simple past. So remember that, okay? So Thomas mm -hmm. said, Who wants to help Ellie, guys? Fatima Campos, let's help Ellie. Well, um, let me think. Remember, remember, Fatima, simple class transforms into, into what? I don't remember. Okay, all right. Uh, take the, did you take a screenshot? Yes. All right, very good. Okay. All right, guys, who can tell me, guys? Simple past transforms into what? Into me what teacher. then? Past perfect. Past perfect. Very good. Very good. All right. All right. In this case, uh -huh. I think there have been a big rainstorm. Very good job. Thomas, Thomas said, who said that, guys? Was that you, Miguel? Douglas. Or Douglas, okay. There had been a big rain rainstorm today very good okay earlier today right today very good very good now the logic behind this guys okay very good job applause for douglas guys Ooh, douglas very good you rock man all right i'm gonna make you practice guys um but i do want you to take the logic behind this okay it is, guys, we actually do this in Spanish. It is exactly the same thing in Spanish. I don't know if you had noticed that, but if you receive, if I tell you, you know, right? If I tell you that, guys, right? Yes, guys? All right, it is the same. It is the same thing, right? Había llovido, right? All right, había la ciudad llovido. Past participle este día, right? So that is past perfect. El pasado perfecto, el pasado perfecto en español, right? Yes, it is the same thing, right? Got it. So if you get confused, just think about it. Just just think about. I don't recommend you thinking thinking in Spanish, guys. But for this, if it is easy for you, remember how you would say it, all right? All right, you don't say, um, well, actually, we, we have bad grammar in Spanish, guys, okay? All right, we would say, fíjate que Chambroberto dijo que llovió fuerte esta mañana, right? All right, 
but that's bad grammar in Spanish, okay? You should, the, the grammatically correct uh, way to say it, it would be, you know, Chamberberto said that, that que había llovido bien fuerte esta mañana, right? Got it? Now, why, guys? Because this is the present, okay? Okay, this is the present. Um, excuse my, my handwriting, but I'm using the mouse. This is the future. <laughs> my voice. And this is this is the past. Okay? okay, now. Okay, guys. So I okay, so so uh it rained here. It rained here, guys. Okay. This is the moment when it was raining. Okay. It was so after it rained, I talked to you and I talked to you here. What happened before? The rain or the or or the action of me telling you? This is when the I rain. This rain. is when I tell this rain. is when I tell you, right? And this is the rain. Okay. So remember, when we use past perfect, we're talking about an action that happened in the past. past. Before another past. Before another, another past action. Before another action, uh. right? So it's an action that happened before another action in the past, right? So when I tell you these guys, I'm already in the present. Yes? So Cham Chambroberto is here, right? <laughs> All right. Chambro, I'm going to call him Chambro, okay? So Chambroberto is here, guys, and he wants to tell you, okay? So if he wants to tell you about an action that happened before an action in the past, in, in what tense can you say that? What tense will you use? Past perfect. Okay, you're gonna use past. Okay, you're gonna use past perfect, right? All right, got it? So let's take a look at another example here, okay? So I am telling you something right now. Dude, okay, it's raining, okay? Okay, now, hold on. This is actually not in the present, okay? So I told you an action in the past, but it's gonna be one action, okay? I said, so I said here, it's raining, okay? So now, moving forward to the present, okay? Remember, I'm talking about only one action, right? Not two actions, okay? So I said, it's raining over here. Now, you're in the present. Now, remember, you have to talk about the past, right? Because the action, guys, when you told me, was it in the past or in the present? In the present. Okay. Now, when, when you told me it was in the past, guys, that already happened, it was right? in the past. Okay. Uh -huh. So here, guys, okay, uh, Chambroberto. So you want to report that Chambroberto told you this, okay? So Chambroberto, <laughs> some Chambroberto said <laughs> what? Okay, so can help me with this. Said, said that, that it, it rain. was raining. That it was that raining. It was raining. Raining. Very good job, okay? Do you get the idea why you speak like that? Do you understand why you speak like that now? Douglas, yes, is it clear, Douglas? Yes, it's clear. Fatima Campos, is it, it clear? Sense. We are here. Yes. So, so. It was All right, very good, very good, okay. Uh, Miguel, is it clear, Miguel? All right, Jonathan Monterosa, is it clear? Uh, I'm sorry, somebody has a question. Somebody, okay, well, I was gonna give another example. Ah, go ahead. But in the future. Okay, very good. Okay, what about in the future, right? That's actually, <laughs> that's actually simple, right? So give me, give me, give me a sentence in the future. Hmm. Huh? There will, uh, be a, there will be a heavy rain Tomorrow, later on. Mm -hmm. There will be a heavy rain tomorrow or later on, whatever, right? We're going to use a, this time reference, okay? I will go to bed at 10 o'clock. All right, I will go to bed. All right, let's use this one, okay? This one is more complicated, all right? All right, so I want to report this, okay? Now, guys, this one, the, no, the, 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 model, the model there will, right, transform into... Good. 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 Okay. And that's the secret behind that. Okay. So, um, what was the name? Oh, Chambroberto, right? Chambroberto. 
Jean Roberto, remember, guys, when did the action happen? When did he tell you this? Did he tell you this in the future? <laughs> My voice, guys, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Did he tell you about this in the future? No, right? He told you that. He told you in the past, right? So, all right. So the action of him telling you this happened in the past. Okay. Sam Roberto said, said that, that he would he would probably would, be, would be he it would, would probably be if <laughs> that it would. Okay, probably, or at least you that probably, whatever, right? That it would probably be rain tomorrow. Okay. Uh, there will be a heavy rain. That there will probably be a heavy, a heavy tomorrow. rain tomorrow. Rain tomorrow, okay? Good job. Okay. All right. Very good job. Very, very good job. Okay. So now, why, guys? Why does it transform into wood? Because if you want to put it like like this, guys, if you want to, if, you were, if you're going to have a test, just remember, the passive will is... Wood. wood, okay, not good, guys. Don't say good. Wood, all right? It's wood. Wood. All right, very good. Hey, nice, nice. I like that question, all right? Good job. All right, uh, so, Daisy, do you have a question, Daisy? No, teacher. All right, very good. Uh, Lydia, do you have a question? Uh, all is clear. Okay, Idalia, do you have a question? No, mister. All right. <laughs> don't call that. Don't call me mister. All right. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. I'm kidding. Ah, uh, but don't. Alejandra, is it clear? <laughs> is it clear, Alejandra? Yes, it is. Very good. Ellie, is it clear, Ellie? Yeah. Are you sure? I do. I'm going to tell you well. <laughs> Okay, very good, guys. Very good. Okay, all right, guys. So we're gonna we're gonna stop here for today. We're gonna continue with this, and I'm gonna next time I'm gonna make you practice this. Okay, all right. Uh, do my favor, guys. Please, the most important thing, guys. Even if you don't come, uh, if you haven't come these days, uh, the most important thing is to finish the plot. Okay, we're good so far. I mean, where are where we're supposed to be? But please, before Monday, guys, I trust you that you will have completed. Uh, the exercises on the platform, okay? So all of this, do the, listen, sure. do the listening exercise if you haven't done it. Uh, do this knowledge check, all right? We're still, I'm, I'm still gonna explain, uh, I'm still gonna make you practice reported speech, but uh, try to complete this, okay? If you can't, ask me and I will help you with that, all right? And try to Perfect. complete, and try to complete the listening exercise over here too, okay? Uh, guys, if you can't connect, please send me a message early. Uh, try to be try to be on time, like you were today. Today, guys, congratulations, you were on time. Uh, if you have issues, guys, if you don't understand something, please let me know. I work like the whole freaking day, guys, but uh, I will answer to you like, like you know, at night. Okay, I will answer to you at night. Right? Do you have any questions, guys? Any requests for me or anything? Not so far. Okay. Very yeah, good. Did you did you really understand so far the topic? <laughs> yes. yes <sir. laughs> okay. Very good. Right. All right. Very good. All right. You can call me David. David, guys. Okay. Don't, don't, don't call me Mister. <laughs> Mister. Okay, David. Mister. David. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, does anybody have a question? I heard somebody had a question. See, I heard somebody had a question. Right. Uh huh. No. No questions. Not so far. Not so far. Okay, very good, guys. All right, guys. Enjoy your weekend. There are no, there is no, uh, there is no class tomorrow. Okay, um, we're gonna see each other until Monday. Uh, oh no, no, guys, no, no, no. Hold on, hold your horses. We're Monday's not gonna. Have, we're not. We're not gonna have a class on Monday. We're gonna see uh, each other until Tuesday, and we're oh, gonna have yeah. next week, guys. We're gonna have a class until. Friday, okay? From okay. Tuesday to Friday, all right? Okay. All right, please, guys, uh, if you're working, uh, please get connected from your cell phone. Uh, attendance is very important, okay? Um, and thank you very much. I have nothing else to tell you, but thank you for being here, guys, all right? Have another class, actually, thank you. right? I'm sorry, I'm, sorry about, I'm sorry about my guys, guys. It's horrible. All right. <laughs> no problem. All right, good night. 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 Good